Lewis can speak to when I first met him and how much I've changed over the course of this, but I've, I've actually been able to find myself because I spent the time finding her and in doing so found this career that makes me happy really for the first time. And to be as a public figure, the person that I wish I had growing up, that's complicated and difficult, but the biggest honor of my life that I, I, I could ever imagine having. And um, I just feel like I've grown so much as a person. I've become so much more confident and secure in myself, not only in this new art form, and which is now, I hope, my career, but through portraying someone so special and so authentic and truthful that audiences have never really met before. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's wonderful. Nice to meet you guys. How are you both doing? Yeah, good. Wonderful. How are you? We are doing so well. Yeah. Thank you both so much for sharing your time with us today in the movie podcast. And congratulations on the series. Thank you oh, very gosh, much. Thank you. Arya, I, I, we'd love to start with you. Uh, you know, when Etienne tells Marie that, you know, sometimes it frightens me how good you are at this. Uh, it's something that we kept thinking throughout the series, watching your performance. Um, and then to learn that All the Light You Cannot See was your acting debut. Absolutely <laughs> incredible how has playing Marie changed you as a person thank you so much that's really kind of you to say i'm just really grateful and excited to get to do this job it's remarkable it's so it's just so full of love and and life and this book was really special to me so to get to play this character it it's she's such a beacon of hope for so many people and i wanted her to take shape as she is in the book but yeah, with so many different layers that you can bring to her on screen um, and like meeting her and seeing her and hearing her voice for the first time, I, I really took all of that to heart and I wanted her to just spring off the page, but I wanted to bring um, a little bit of me to her too. But it's it was harder be than I thought because we don't really have a lot in common. Um, we experience the world completely differently. Um, we live in different times. She's a really, really patient. That's like such a big character trait for her. And I'm I'm just not at all. Um, so <laughs> finding a way in sometimes was was really hard. And I tried to take root in all of these relationships that she has. And I think bringing her to screen is such a gift because it is the first example of authentic representation for a character who's blind in a project of this scale or in a leading character. And it's just... It's a lot of pressure because I know that there are a lot of misconceptions that have been unfortunately continually processed through a hundred years of film and even more years of storytelling. And it doesn't diminish the beauty of those pieces of art, but it's led to these stigmas. And so people may not be used to seeing a character who is blind presented in this way. And I think that's really changed me because I was always kind of a shy person and kind of a little bit closed off. And I was really nervous. I mean, Lewis can speak to when I first met him and how much I've changed over the course of this, but I've, I've actually been able to find myself because I spent the time finding her and in doing so found this career that makes me happy really for the first time. And to be as a public figure, the person that I wish I had growing up, that's, complicated and difficult, but the biggest honor of my life that I, I, I could ever imagine having. And um, I just feel like I've grown so much as a person. I've become so much more confident and secure in myself, not only in this new art form, and which is now, I hope, my career, but through portraying someone so special and so authentic and truthful that audiences have never really met before. So it's, it's wonderful. That's, absolutely. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. And, you know, Lewis, for yourself, when are you asking the same questions? I, can't, I, I got wrong. <laughs> that beautiful answer. Please. Please. You, can't, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't top that now. It's too late. <laughs> when are you still, when, when he goes back to boarding school, the only super, that only the superhuman survive here. Curious for you, what characteristic of his did you most identify with? I think stubbornness, the stubbornness, the resilience. Uh, <laughs> The um, I think the getting angry when people are mistreated, I think that is something that I could really sort of yeah. connect with, and the always the the standing up again and the trying to fight for the good, even though you're thrown back and back again, and and uh, yeah, I love that about him. 
They're not giving up. Definitely. That's absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure a lot of that also kind of came with working with someone like Sean Levy, really kind of guiding that experience. I'm curious, what was that like to work with Sean? Sean is someone that 100%, 100% encourages mm-hmm. you at all times. You you know, you're happy to try anything out. And he's he like, always for, lets you try. And for yeah. example, is sometimes, sometimes I would like give him options. I'd be like, so then I could be like this, like that, like that. He could take that action or that action. And then he'd be like, pick one, be so precise about how he wants he to tell the story. He has a strong vision for what he and wants he's so, to see. He's yeah. incredibly quick, like incredibly quick at problem solving. And whenever you talk to him, every minute, every second is filled with, a huge amount of information and you can just feel that it's so rich the the time yeah. you spent with him and he, he has such a, a clear um idea of what he wants from his actors and i think i feel like like we're just sort of ink in his pen so in order for like us to do our job well it's really important for us to have a good relationship with a director and i think he's mm-hmm. so spectacular because he he values the relationships with his actors so much he wants to get to know us as people um, and it influences how we can play our characters because I think in, in both of our cases, like they're very vulnerable people. And in order for us to be able to express that vulnerability, we have to first feel safe. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know what I was doing when I showed up because I had never been in a movie. I never auditioned. I never really, like, I just didn't know. I'd never been on a set. And I told Sean, please just be completely candid with me. Don't worry about hurting my feelings. You need to tell me what I can do better. And he took it to heart. And every day yeah. he he would help me become a little bit better than the last day. And it was just, it was great. But you also wanted to know. I did very badly want cool, to know everything. It's just, just great. I it was couldn't so learn it fast enough. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was, yeah. No, I could not get there fast enough. It was very funny. 